Hello my crazy cracker lovers, this is Abiba the crazy cracker lady and I am doing something with chia chips. Not the norm, but something I wanted to try. You see a couple different colors on there. The reddish ones were used with a batter of tomato, carrot, onion, celery, and the ones that are black or kind of a grayish color, that's what the chia seed looks like. So let's start with a learning lesson. This, you see those holes? This is not because of what happened on the last video where I said the batter was too thin. When I did this uh, batter, or I actually soaked the chia seeds, I made a batter, put it in the blender, added the uh, chia chips, or the chia, and when I dropped them by spoonful, they looked pretty good. But when I took them out or got ready to turn them over, there were just holes in it. You don't have to do what I did, which is I added the chia seeds to my liquid and that did not work. These chips here are the chia seeds. This is what they look like. And what you want to do is when you soak the chia seeds, it only takes a couple of hours, just soak them. Then you can put a little seasoning actually in the water while it's being soaked and it will take on the flavor. But I did it like I normally do my barbecue chip or anything that I put in the blender and that was really a surprise. So don't do that. In the middle, right here, let me pick this up. I decided to spread the chia mixture. That was not good because when I took them off the sheet, they broke up. They're still good, but they broke up. I was kind of kind of upset about that. This is an onion ring. And this is with the chia mixture. And the reason why it's this color, again, because it's got the tomato, carrots, um, what else do I have kind of in a reddish color? Well, the carrots and the uh, bell pepper, so good. These onion rings, oh my God, they're the bomb. They're the bomb. And these are onion rings over here. So we have four different things that are used with the chia. They really turned out pretty good, but I was disappointed about this in the middle breaking up. But what you can do is sprinkle that over some soup, sprinkle it over your salad. Don't waste anything. So before I end this video, I just want you to hear the famous crunch. Again, on that last video, um, this was because the batter was too thin. With this, because I blended this up with a liquid, put the chia in there, and you don't want to do it like that. But anyway, let me just let you hear the crunch. Mm-hmm. Delicious, delicious. The onion ring. How beautiful is that? I'll let you know. Mm-hmm. Man, those are good. Screaming. Mm. Don't ask me about the curl. I don't know how these bad boys curled. All I know is that when I went to get them, they curled. So anyway, thank you so much. I'm so glad to be doing videos again. And always remember... Enjoy your crazy crackers. Bye.